Hello Captains, this is Kent again and welcome to the flight show. This is the second part of our flight between <coughs> Anchorage, Alaska and Ketchikan International Airport in Ketchikan, um, Alaska. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Right now we are flying over uh, southern Alaska uh, heading for uh, our uh, descent. Uh, we have a little bit of a ways to go, but I just kind of wanted to peep out, like have an opportunity to peep out this scenery. So, what you're looking at is a combination of a lot of things. Clearly, we're on. We're looking at um, Repair 3D version 4.4. We have um, Orbix Global scenery, along with Orbix Southern uh, Alaska. Northern, so, okay, so i got a lot of going on. Uh, we have Orbix North America, but we also have Orbix Southern Alaska, and uh, uh, which you had seen in the previous video. But we also have um, Orbix Pacific Northwest, West of the Black class, and also Pilots FS uh, Ultimate um, Scenery, which is their mesh. Uh, it's probably the highest resolution payware mesh, uh, world mesh on the market. Checked. So you throw all of that in there, uh, along with um, uh, shaders, uh, P, P, PAT uh, shaders going on, and you also have uh, our weather, which is being generated by Active Sky, and uh, the shaders for. Uh, and renderings for the weather by Rex Skyforce. Clearly, we have here the uh, PMDG 737, and all of this thrown together to give you this very realistic look. Um, I'm just in awe. I can just sit here and watch this. Who wants to time excel when you can just sit and be amazed by these visuals? Um, I also do have uh, uh, global traffic, but since I had to do a complete restall of my system, I haven't got global working quite right. Um, you have other airlines up on the uh, tarmac, but the only ones I see, see flying are the stock airlines of Orbit, all of that the team comes with. Um, 3D, so I'm still working that out. But oh, that little talking you hear in the background is my FS crew. I'm using that for my uh, first officer and helping with the flight management. So all of that being said, um, we are. Let's take a look here. We are. little over, we're about 60 miles, a little under 60 miles from our top of descent, so I'm going to bring you back. Um, I guess what I'll just do very quickly is I will show you that we have prepared pretty much everything. We have our um, V-Ref speeds already indicated. Um, I will go through our descent checklists in a little bit, um, but all that being said, we'll just Hope you can uh, sit back and enjoy the ride, so we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so let's begin our descent. I've actually changed our navs just to read it. Actually, now I do not think I'm going to change it, uh, because it turns out our top of descent is behind us after I changed it a little bit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put back the waypoint that I had, which is at... Uh, Here and then up. Okay, so we're good there. And let's see where our top of descent is checked. The glitch briefing. Let's see, looking at our 
set altitude, so okay. Set altitude, one, four, thousand. And let's go ahead and do our brief. Are you ready for the approach brief? Okay. The arrival routing will be via the ATC assigned star, complying with all published speed and altitude restrictions for an ILS approach, planning a flaps 40 landing. VRF is one, four, zero. Final approach fixed altitude is four, six, zero, zero feet. Decision altitude is two, zero, zero feet. Missed approach altitude is one, three, zero, zero feet. Taxi route in will be as assigned by ATC. We'll be arriving at a gate. We'll use the APU, but please delay the start until my command as we have a long taxi. Descent speeds and navigation radios are set. Airport notams have been reviewed. Any questions, comments, or concerns? None. Approach brief complete. Altitude. One, four, thousand, set. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do this. And now, go into our checklist. Descent checklist. Descent checklist. I know one thing, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, we'll begin our descent into your destination here in just a moment. On behalf of the flight crew and staff, I wanted to thank you for flying with us today, and I hope that you choose us for all your flying needs in the future. Thank you. Okay, so, I still want this guy to go in. Begin descent checklist. Taken by our scenery. 
and you know, even the scenery, you can't help but be taken by these frame rates. Oh my gosh, because you can't do this and it'd be beautiful if you don't have good frame rates. It just takes away from everything. Um, you know, my specs are in the description below of my rig. I, I have worked years of getting to this, and I'm just so happy as I've been putting up more content. Um, well, maybe not as much as I would like to think because it's been a busy semester, but I'm infinitely more happy to share a video uh, to basically uh, enjoy these visuals and give you an idea of, you know, hopefully what you uh, are experiencing or hope to get up to. Crew, the Bear Flint. Aha! They are getting the cabin ready for uh, arrival, so that's totally good. Um, since we have a moment to talk about it, let me put this back off the yeah, um, Let's, oh gosh, I totally forgot what I was going to do. Uh, it had to do with preparation for the aircraft. Um, yes, so we I tried to use some minimum fuel, but it even looks like we're not even going to have that, so I'm not going to have to throw some fuel in here, just, you know, I'll have to work on that fuel management. Uh, but, that notwithstanding, ah, I remember frequencies for our, frequencies for our landing. So, we will be doing an ILS approach, so we want to put our radios on, let's see here. So anyway, uh, I want to put our ILS systems on, so I, you don't see it, but it says here that our ILS for our runway is going to be 109.3, uh, so I'm going to put that on, and our course is 115, so let's go ahead and get that in, and to our course. Right here, we should. 
should actually be at 5,000, but that's all right. And it should be at this waypoint. So, make altitude 4,000 feet. Uh-oh, my mistake. Set altitude 4,600. 1,011. Altitude. 4,600 set. I'm missing anything, but since I have my <coughs> displays outside, my displays uh, outside the cockpit are on my second monitor to give me a chance to check out, there is where we will be landing in just a moment. As you can see, it's nestled between two nestled mountains, and it's not an incredibly long runway, so this is going to be interesting. How about that scenery? Love the internet. Oh yeah, it's about to go down. Okay, we're going to be going into our procedure turns. 
so let's bring this down to Flaps five. Speed checked. Flaps five. Excellent. All right, we should be coming up on that turn very soon. sometimes look at the peripherals and look at how beautiful that is, and then I have to remember, I need to turn so that you can see it, uh, because you're only looking at one monitor's worth of what I'm seeing. Alright, so now we have that turn going on. So, for those of you who may be watching the video that are um, kind of new to prepared, um, and you evidently made your decision, because if you're flying prepared, that's a heavy investment of $200, assuming you did the professional license. Um, unless you may be a student, you know, did the, the student license, the academic license. But, either way, you know, the debate now is between X-Plane. Um, are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that debate. Uh, yeah. But anyway, the debate being between X-Plane 11 and prepared uh, version 4, um, you know, both have adva their advantages and disadvantages, but I'm really a uh, prepared guy. I might try X-Plane. I've already have so much money invested in uh, 
prepared, it's hard to I imagine that I would switch over to X Plane, you know, dedicatedly. Just when I think of all the um, third party scenery, software, aircraft, and everything, like who knows, I might win the lottery. But all of that being said, now we are uh, about to enter that turn. Uh, we're actually in it, as I mentioned earlier. Just amazing. Let's take you over the way now. Absolutely beautiful. And again, this is Alaska. Set speed one eight zero. Speed one eight zero. Set positive climb. Okay, not just yet. Soon. Set speed. Never mind. Set altitude for one thousand. Uh uh, no. Cancel that. Set altitude for one hundred. Set altitude four thousand one hundred. Set altitude, altitude. 4,100. 4,000. Set. I don't know why I just messed up how to say that, but that's okay. It is what it is. Okay. 1,011. Okay, we will... Altitude. 4,000. One hundred set altitude. Four thousand one hundred set. Right. We're now descending to that altitude. Okay, didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Uh, just checking. Right. Our ILS is 1093. Our course should be, well, this is 114, so let's see. Make that, change that one. Okay. Checked. And our ILS, all right, we're good. And at this point, we will descend for landing. That's what I will take control. Set speed one four three. Flaps 40.
Gear down. Gear down. than even I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. We are good. Alright. You can't see the instruments because I'm kind of zoomed in so I can focus on the runway, but uh, we are on the glide slope. We are on the glide slope. A little to our right of the runway, so I'm going to bring it over. Um, I'm bring this out so I can uh, have the benefit of it. Alright. Check. Alright, we're looking good. We're looking good. Just got to bring it over just a wee bit. Give it a little left rudder. And then we'll be spot on. A little under the glide slope, pulling it up a bit. Landing checklist. Uh, it's not on that, so hold on. Landing checklist. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Glide slope alive. Localizer alive. Set. Check. Caution. Terrain. Set and check. I'm a little... I don't want to look over. Okay, hold on. Let's start again. Okay. Landing checklist. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Are you sure? Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. Flaps 40. Speed checked. Flaps 40. Alright, we are looking good. Alright, we are on the glide slope. And a little to the right of the localizer, but we're good. 1,000 feet. Not stable. Yeah, I noticed. That's okay. We're good. Check. 
Ah. All right. Check. Okay to clean up. Check. Now the exciting part. Going down the best round. Caution. Anti-ice. slope over here to the left, but yeah, it seems to be plenty of clearance. Let's get a little outside look here. Ah, oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're absolutely great. Let's just see. Does GSX have any love for us? small, so I don't know if we're going to get to use it, but that's okay. What other choice do we have? Because the static aircraft is sitting in our spot. Ah, there's the general aviation from my other video, my other video where I was parked. Turn on the APU. Starting APU. Should have done that earlier. There we go. All right. Flaps up. Oh, we did that. Three minutes. Lights and doors. Check. K 
cabin crew, disarm doors and cross check. Doors disarmed, APU on the bus. Excellent. Okay, so we have come to the end of our flight. Our GSX still needs to be worked on, that's okay. But I just want to thank you. I hope you enjoyed this flight to uh, Kichika, Kichikan, uh, Alaska. I uh, hope you enjoy the uh, scenery. This airport is fascinating. I'm definitely going to be flying here a few times uh, from various locations. Um, but all that being said, I want to thank you for tuning into this video. And uh, leave a comment. Uh, leave a few. And, uh, please like and subscribe. All that being said, I appreciate you tuning in. And I will see you in the virtual skies. It's near Christmas, so happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, and all of that good stuff. Bye, everybody.